Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video. Today we will be taking a look at this digital camera. Now this is a Fujifilm and it is a Finepix T350 as it says on the bottom. Now the reason I'll be taking a look at this is because this was my first digital camera. This T350 came out on the 15th of March 2012 and I got mine from Tesco for my birthday in November 2013. So today we're just going to take a look at this and first off let's take a look around the actual camera. So on the back here it's quite simple, we've got a screen, it's not a touch screen but that's fine. We've got our zooming in and out there, we've got our button so we can look at all the photos and videos we've taken. There is also a way to record video on there, we will discuss that a little bit later. There's also a way of going back and changing the different functions on the display. There you can change the white balance, you can change the flash, there's a timer function on it and you can change the scene mode as well. So it is pretty basic but then again it is only cheap. I believe that this was only £50 when it was bought from Tesco so that's not a lot of money at all. Now on the top we've got our power button and shutter. It's actually quite a nice design with this fake metal going around. I believe it is just plastic but it looks nice so that's all that matters really. We've got a strap on it so I don't drop it and that's fine. I have actually dropped this. I'm not sure if you can tell. I'm not exactly sure where it was but if you can see there is a slight bend there where it did fall onto some concrete and there is a little scuff there as well but considering how long I've had it, it's not got much damage on it at all and it does still work perfectly fine. So speaking of the front, we've got Fujifilm branding, it also says that it's 14 megapixels even though on the Fujifilm website there's a photo that says it's 16. It's not, it is 14. It's got a flash up there. It also says HD movie and by HD it means 720p. Now on the bottom this is how we charge it and there is also a way for this to be mounted to a tripod which is good to see. So a little bit later in this video I'll be mounting this to my tripod and we can take a look at the video quality compared to my Lumix G7. Also on the bottom here is the door where our battery goes. If I open that, you can see that our battery is in there. It's also where we put our SD card. So I'm just going to now get an SD card, put that in, and then we can take a look at this camera switched on. So here's my SD card. This is actually quite a fancy one. I'm not sure if this camera will even recognize this. It should do, so hopefully that will be fine. So I'll just put it in now. In it goes. And now let's turn this thing on. All right, pressing the power button now. And there we go, the thing has come on. And we can see that it is in macro mode right now, apparently. And because I've put a 32 gigabyte card in, it can take 7,565 photos before the card is full. Now that is quite impressive. So let's just take a look. So let's zoom in, let's see how far it can zoom. All right, so it's got a 10 times zoom on it, and as you can see, the lens has come out there. That actually looks quite beasty, even though in reality, when it's zoomed in, the quality is pretty terrible and it struggles to focus on anything. So let's take a look in the menu, and we can see our shooting mode option. I'll just leave all this as it was, and if we go down, we can find our movie mode. Now I mainly use this camera for, for recording video and it can record up to, as you can see, 1280 and that is indeed 720p. And I believe that it can do it at 30 frames per second and it can record for 9 minutes and 41 seconds in 720p. Now, in terms of picture quality, this can do up to a resolution of 4288 by 3216 and this actually does create some pretty decent photos for the price. I'll try and insert some now. But I use this mainly for video so now I'm going to show you an example of a video that I filmed on this. This was in 2015 when I got a £15 monitor from CEX. It was uploaded to YouTube but now it is privated on a different channel. 
but I'll show that to you now so you know what the quality looks like. I got an Acer monitor, that's the model, and this isn't its stand. This is my HP monitor stand. Alright, so of course the quality is not very good and it is quite shaky, probably because it has no image stabilisation. But back then, when I filmed that, it was the best quality I could record and I was quite impressed with it. And no one ever complained about the video quality because people just accepted that that was the sort of quality that people would be recording in. But now you've seen that, I'm going to now put this camera on my tripod and replace the G7 so we can see what sort of quality we can get out of this with all of these recording lights on. Okay, here it is on my tripod, and that looks rather cute, but also a little bit silly. So I'll turn the recording lights on, and now I will just film a little thing on this camera, and then we can take a look to see what it looks like. Alright, before we look at the footage on my computer, I just want to say that even though this camera was only on for a very short space of time, it has actually got quite hot, so I'm not really sure whether that's concerning or not. I'm not sure how hot it would get if I left it on for a long time, but that's a lot hotter than my G7 gets anyway. So now let's take out the SD card and put it into my computer. Okay, so here's the clip I recorded. It's actually filmed it as an AVI. Usually I film as MP4s, but let's have a look at this. Now I'll overlay it onto the screen so you can see it better. But this is just my first look, okay. So we've got a bit of flickering going on, probably because of my recording lights. Let's hear that microphone. Alright, so that is quite noisy. There's quite a lot of what seems to be static in the background. I will say that footage looks rather fuzzy. You can definitely tell that it is a lower resolution. But I think for £50, it's not... It's not bad, really, but I'll let you watch the full clip now and you can see what you think about it. Okay, so I am now recording on the Finepix T350 and it says at the top of the screen that I can record for 9 minutes and 30 seconds until it stops. And just looking at the little screen on the back of the camera, the quality doesn't look too bad, but then again we'll have to wait until we look at it on a proper display. Now, does it do auto-focusing? Let's see if I hold down the shutter button a bit, will it refocus? No, it does not. So it seems like it cannot focus while recording, but it looks like it is a fairly decent bit of footage just by looking at it right now. And it'll also be interesting to see what the microphone sounds like compared to this G7. Now this doesn't even have a very good microphone in it, I'm thinking about getting an external one to mount on the top, but this will be a show to see how good the microphone is on a £50 point and shoot from 8 years ago. That was a clip really with perfect lighting, so that's really the best case scenario. For this camera now, of course, not everywhere you go to take pictures and videos is going to be great lighting, so I'm just going to go around the house and film a few things in darker areas, then I will overlay the footage for you to see of that. I'm also going to hold the camera on this mini tripod just to try and help stabilise the footage just a little bit. Alright, here we are in my office with the recording lights on, so I'm now going to turn those off, and now it has got a bit darker in this room. Now what I'll also do is close the blind, now that's going to be really overexposed but there we go it is now a bit darker in this room as you can see and there is my g7 setup for recording the rest of this video now let's take a look under my desk now that is quite dark and you can see all of my filming equipment down there and actually the case that i've stored this camera in for the past couple of years it's a matching blue and it's rather nice So I've just taken a look at the footage I've just filmed and to be honest it's not that bad considering that this camera came out 8 years ago 
and how cheap it was at the time, it's really not bad at all. Now, of course, I'm not going to recommend anyone go out and buy one now in 2020 because there's probably a lot better options. Pretty much every smartphone today has a better camera than this, but if you already have one of these or you can obtain one at like a really good price, then I think that it's still fairly decent for doing certain things in 2020. But I really wouldn't recommend going out and buying one because it just seemed like a bit of a waste of time. But anyway, this was my first digital camera and I think that that is pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. Hopefully this was interesting in some way. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.